five, four, three, two, one. Hey, it's one of those. Welcome back, everybody. To the uh, As Good As It Gets podcast, I am Justin. I'm Mike. I am Troy. <laughs> Troy. And Troy's Al. <laughs> Troy's out today. Where is Troy? Upstairs. M- making his runs. With, with mo- Mike's yeah. mom. Oh. Yeah, doing another delivery today. Stepdaddy. Yeah. <laughs> so you had some crazy uh, weather out here earlier. Yeah, man, we had hail. Hail. Just, hail. Yeah, <laughs> I was on the phone, too. God, man, it was loud. And I came out here, and I'm like, geez, man. It's like someone's slinging a bunch of rocks at my house with a slingshot. I better not get hail damage on my car. <laughs> you won't. It's done for today. Tomorrow's a different day. Oh, how was you guys week, by the way? Been a while. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> this past week. There's a lot of them. You know, we do like one recording a week, so. Yeah, so um, <laughs> See you the brewery was good. I had a good time. Yeah, I got to look over that footage. Have you looked at it at all? Uh, I wouldn't. Did you bring the lapel mics, the wireless ones, for me to dink around with? No, I forgot. I think, I think Boffy forgot to call you for his uh, retirement party. Oh, did he have a retirement party? Yep, after work. Define retirement party. Is it like? Beers and burgers. Uh, Beers bunch, and Bunch of beer chicken and where at burgers. at his house, his house yeah. oh okay that's, that's part, party you. no he tried to call me last week so yeah that's probably what it was about i called and left him a voicemail saying hey i saw that you called i don't know if you accidentally called me or what's you, going you on go? sorry but you went yeah uh, i was planning on it but i mean not for long but yeah i was planning on but yeah i mean by by the time he had close to the sh- uh end of shift uh i was like I'm going to go. What, when was it? Saturday. Friday. Saturday. Friday or Friday. Saturday? Friday. 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 Yeah, it might have been Friday when I called them back. So and I just said, hey, I saw that you called. and I, I just uh, didn't know what it was about. I just texted them. That's I'm cool, sorry. though. Was yeah, it, it the same guy who showed was, up? Because I, I, I forwarded that information to them. No. Was was there a lot of people there? The reps, any of the reps? Um. I'm blanking his name out. Gilbert said he was going to show He's retired. Gilbert T, uh, TJ. Uh, looks Hispanic. What the hell's his name? Not Gilbert. Pretty sure he's no. Nappy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Ken called me on on Friday, and I called him back Friday at ten thirty, about an hour and a half later, and he didn't pick up. Well, I was planning on going, but. Things changed. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, how, did a lot of people show up though? I imagine. I mean, people just uh, coming and going. Duggar was there with his wife and his mom. His mom? Yep. Wow. Regular yeah. showed up. Yeah, I figure all the maintenance guys would have showed up. Mm, there was a couple. Yeah. Nick was leaving when I showed up. Wes, Wes said he was going to be there. He was there, yep, for till I, till I got there. Yeah, I would have left too, right when you showed up. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to turn these lights on. Yeah, we got uh, natural light for right now. Well, natural dry. And what do you drink? Natural ice. <laughs> natural ice. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'll turn them on here in a moment. Come on, we're eighteen minutes in, guys. Come on. All right. So, no. It sounds so, sorry I missed the party. I mean, it would have been nice to be invited, Ken. <laughs> well, I, I tried. I, I, I can not. imagine this. I, I tried to call you to invite you, and in you Utah didn't now. pick up. Huh? He's in Utah for a couple of weeks. Who's that? Ken. Oh, is he? I know Rigor is in every, Vegas right now. I think everyone got invited. Except for Mike. Except yes. me. No, he meant your to. Mom, your mom got invited. She was there. I mean, you know, because everybody knows her mom. Sorry, that wasn't COVID. <laughs> that, that was uh, monkey pox. Um, Is that what you get from your mom? Mm-hmm. From my boyfriend after the drag show. Whoa. Drag your kids to pride. 
<laughs> we don't have to dive into that topic right now or what I think of it, but being a conservative, you can probably guess what I think of it. If you're watching, I appreciate the interview. So, <laughs> so is it a similar position that you yeah, it's interviewed similar. for? Similar, yeah. Okay. Is hush hush or no? And if they, if, if work didn't know that I was leaving or trying to leave, they're going to know now because everybody from Microchip was like, oh my God. I can't wait till the newest oh. podcast comes out. It's because they watch the podcast. Now they know. Probably all freaking out right now. Yeah. Uh, less stress, more pay. Yes. Cool. Sounds like it. That's what you got to shoot for. Right arm. We'll see what happens. That's cool. They knew I was a hooligan. You act like one. Yeah. Well, only when I'm here. I gotta turn you up a bit more. I want to mute you, but I really, but <laughs> I'm gonna turn these lights on. Stand by. Wait, where's the cameras at? <laughs> you do your homework? I bet not. I didn't. I've been stressing out. <laughs> From what? That is none of your goddamn business. <laughs> so she's late. She's a week late. <laughs> That's what's going on. <laughs> Child support. What? I had a topic here. Hold on. Seriously? Justin's going to be the dad again? Yeah. No. I mean, that's a hell of a thing to get out between your current kids and the new ones that you're bringing into the picture. Oops. Or what do you got for us, Mike? Me? Yeah. Start off. <clears throat> well, there's several answers to this question. It's really pretty um subjective, I guess. Not, not I guess. It is. So I came to my mind the other day and three movies popped in my head and right now I can only think of two of them, but old age. Yeah. It's old age. Um, Oh no, I remember the third one now <laughs> stalled it out there. Name a, name a, name a movie series where the sequel was better than the first one. Stupid ass topic. It is a stupid ass topic, <laughs> no, but we, that's yeah, we as kinda, good as it gets, Al. Kind of brought it up. No, actually, I, I think that this will be a fun topic. Police Academy, but, uh, all of them. <laughs> well, uh, well, so the first one well, sucks. Why don't we do this by genre? So I guess we, we can start with with comedies. Was there? Was there? Uh, I, I I think uh, Christmas Vacation is probably uh, of all the, that series. I think Christmas uh, Vacation is my favorite for the vacation movies. Because they had the Vacation, they had uh, European Vacation, they had Christmas, they had. Vegas, right? It, was there another one? Vegas Vacation was probably... Van Wilder? My, oh, that was... <laughs> no, I, I don't... I want to say, yes, there was another one, but I... But no, I mean, you named all the ones that I can think of off the top of my head anyway. Uh, uh, is there another comedy? That the sequels... <clears throat> maybe, maybe not better, but just as good. If you want to consider one of my picks, just out of the three that popped in my mind, was um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Yeah, it was a little, little uh, darker. It was less character building. You already kind of knew the characters, and I, I don't know. I thought Drax was even funnier in that one. <laughs> Drax is probably my favorite, so I think he's a lot of people's favorite. But just trash talking back and forth. If you want to call it an action movie, call it an action movie. But I, 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 the only reason I, that's the only super movie, superhero movie I still watch is because of the humor it's that's in funny, it. funny, yeah. It is funny. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, I kind of got tired. I'm tired of all the superhero movies. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got kind of tired of it after a Superman Part yeah. 26 or Spider-Man Part yeah. 26, rather. So they come out with a new Spider-Man movie every six months. It's like, well, oh, yeah. whatever. So, what's another one? A comedy or a movie a sequel that's better. What about uh, a any which way you can? Robocop. I don't remember the second one. <laughs> Neither do I. Anyway, a any which way you can with Clint Eastwood. That was any his, which way but loose. Every which way but loose was the first one. Any which way? Yeah. I don't think I've ever watched the second one. Again, it goes into there's less character building, right? You already know he's fighting on the side and. He's going to be thrown into this sort of arranged fight. 
So my one that Tanya picked, oh, well, Toy Story 2 for kids' movies. Mm. I think it was better than the first one. <laughs> yeah. Then one that Tanya, I didn't think of right off the bat, but she said Aliens. And I go, oh, yeah, that was a lot that better was, than Alien. Yeah. So. I'll see. I put them there. They're equally good, I think. Because Aliens was a. Uh, uh, Riley Scott, right? And that was pure horror. Okay. Alien was pure horror. Was, okay. was that the director's name? Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott. Whatever, Sounds whatever, more familiar. That was like pure horror. Uh, but Aliens, zzz, the second one was uh, James Cameron. So that was a lot more action. Right. So. And that's why it. some would say it's probably better than the first. Mm-hmm. Um, I know watching him as a kid, that's why I liked it better than the first one. Because as a kid, it's like, remember when, uh, what the hell is the name of that? Silence of the Lambs came out. As a kid, you didn't want to watch that because it just, it it didn't freaking dry, you know, there was just too much psycho thriller in it, not enough action. That was one. Okay, we can go into horror. That was one. Yeah. That was a sequel. Because Red Dragon, they they made Red Dragon first, but they called it Manhunt, Manhunter or something like that, Manhunt. But that was basically Red Dragon. Oh. That came out before Hannibal. Okay. Or Silence of the Lambs. So Silence of the Lambs is actually a sequel. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't I didn't like it. As a kid? As a kid. Yeah. I think it's called Manhunter. But that was Red Dragon. Okay. Well, there's one there. Evil Dead 2. I don't think I saw basically that. Basically, Evil Dead, which was, is more. I was not a big comedy. Evil Dead fan. Yeah, I just I'd watch it if like I was in my buddy's, one of my buddy's dorm rooms and it was playing, yeah. you know, because just have something playing all the time in the background. You sit out and you're like, watch a scene or two. Yeah. But I don't think I watched it. All and that, the way that's through. where, well, if you know Ash, the the main character, mm-hmm. that's where they defined his character in Evil Dead too. That you know he's gonna. A goofball. He's kind of like his character is kind of like the the dude uh, Guardian of the Galaxy. You know, just a klutz. You know, trying to be a tough guy, but he's just really a klutz. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, I remember that about its character. So, now my brother in law said Top Gun. Haven't seen Maverick. Yeah, seen a lot of a lot of people still haven't seen Maverick, but I've only heard good things about yeah. it too. So it sounds to me like it's worth paying movie yeah, theater prices. Says that, everybody says that's pretty good. So, <clears throat> so there's you, that. is this streaming, or you have to go to the theaters? Theater, I think. Really? Fuck. I'm want, sure there's ways around it, but, shot. but what you're gonna get is like somebody filming it with a bunch of subtitles in Chinese, <laughs> filming it in a movie theater. You, you know, it's gonna be horrible. I'm sure you could get it, but that's what that's the quality you're gonna God. get. By the end, you're a Scientologist. Exactly. <laughs> That's what he probably uh, did. Just help hypnotized me, all. Help me. <laughs> hypnotized all these people. Now that you go in and you, you know, you're done, and then you're a Scientologist. <laughs> yeah. It's a Tom Cruise way. <laughs> it's like what's her name who speaks out against that um, oh. from. Uh, from everyone that hates uh, no what what sitcom was she on? Was it King of Queens? Yeah. Uh, Remy, what's her name? Yeah. Leah Remy. Whatever Remini. you say. It. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's very interesting when she was on Joe Rogan, but that's all she, that's all they talked about. So. Yeah. Anyway, she's a big spokesperson against it now. How did it happen? Was L. El- Ron Hubbard really charismatic? Or I don't know. I don't even know. If I if I say what I know, then people are gonna be like, "Oh, conspiracy theories." I just remember as a kid yeah. watching TV ever that Dianetics but, uh, yeah. by L. Ron Hubbard. Dian, it just kept saying it over and over, and it like ingrained it. Yeah, but he was like a huge admirer of Aleister Crowley and shit like that. And it's like, well, then the cult. Yeah, this is this could be looked at more as a cult. I think I think most religions are cults anyway, but because but yeah. I mean. But it got so big. Like, how did that happen? Like, you know. People paid their money, man. The more money you pay, the bigger you get. 
but I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was interesting to hear all the, the little ins and outs. It's just weird. Cause it just seems like you're going into a sort of a society cult, if you will, whatever, where you're just watching the other people that are in there with you and then snitching on them. Like, yeah. Oh, you got to report them because they left church or Sabbath for the day, five minutes early. It's time to write them up. And you're just like, what the fuck? You got to pay so much money shit. to reach the next tier of yeah yeah yeah. yeah. The weird. more you pay, That's the higher you you go. I'm no expert on the topic of that particular faith, if you will, but it was interesting to watch her interview and how she became, you know, a Scientologist, and then what she had to do to break out of it. Yeah. So, but anyway. Me. Are we on to that now, or are we still talking uh, movies? We, we can go back to movies. Yeah, we kind of got fucking sidetracked. Sidetrack. What, uh, what else is there? All right, we're going to have to go by genres. We're just struggling enough. To try, try, but just yeah. for a movie, I gotta get to, I'm allergic to your mom's basement. Well, the, the other one Tanya said was Back to the Future, and I'm like, really? Because I thought the first one was good. No. no I, it was hard to hold a candle to the first one. Second one was good, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't as good as the first. Second seemed like a setup for the third. That's, that's what uh, it, I agree with yeah. you. I think the so first like, was the best, so. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoyed the second, but but I think the first was better. Oh, T2. That's that's obvious one, I think. Did we Star, do Star Wars episodes 4, 5, and 6. Way better than 1, 2, and 3. Way better. Empire, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Is that because the incestuous uh, nature of the relationship? Absolutely. Oh, the Star Trek movies. Because the first one was the Star Trek, the motion picture. It's kind of boring. And, and, uh, and you had the Wrath of Khan. Yeah, Search I think the, for Spock. The second one was Wrath of Khan, right? Yeah, the third yeah. one was Search for Spock. Yeah. It's funny. I, I'm not a they, huge they Star one, Trek fan, um, but I remember all this. They time traveled. Return home or something. They time traveled back. I think that was four. 1980, whatever, the current day, whenever that movie came out. I thought that was the Search for Spock. Where they were trying to find him, and he ended up. No, um, this is the one. This this big alien thing was coming towards Earth, and it was it was giving off some some frequency or whatever that was that was going to like blow the fuck. Oh, world. that must have been it, it, it later than five, because I think the fourth one was the whole whale rescue I one. I think the uh, return home or something like that. But what that alien craft thing was doing. I think that's when they went back in time, wasn't it? Did they get a whale from the past? Yeah. Or something? They had to that the alien craft yeah. was that was communicating with whales for centuries, and all of a sudden there was no whale. So that's why this alien craft came to Earth to check out what the hell is going on. But and they they weren't uh, uh they they weren't there to destroy Earth, but it's just how the the spaceship was. It's got to be for it. It was causing some. It, it was gonna destroy Earth. <laughs> no, 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 the, the aliens weren't doing that intentionally, but then so they had to travel back in time to get get a whale. So that the the spaceship would, you know, say, okay, there's a will and would leave. We return home? That seems like a really thin plot line, but. But I thought that, no, it's freaking, it's freaking, uh, (laughs) it it was just funny. Well, it seems like a plot line because this is back when actors had to act and there was, you know, your, your special effects were only so great. This was, came up in a conversation at work too, uh, last week where I have, so you have these projects based on the year. So there's like. 18F, 19F, 20F. Well, I had the last 18F project. And I'm like, yeah, that's the one that the gift that keeps on taking, the last Starfighter of of ATF. And that's what I got someone, someone's like, great reference. I love that movie. I'm like, yeah, but unfortunately, if you go back and watch it now, you'd be like, why why would I ever like this movie? It's classic. So, and that or um, Flight of the Navigator was a couple years later, I think. Yeah. The Flight of the Navigator was great too. I love that. Wasn't one. that the Or Explorers? Flight of the Navigator. Wasn't that the what's his name? Joaquin. Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, he was in one of them. Like one of his first roles. I think that. I think that was Explorers. Explorers. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm getting these movies all mixed. Well, up. They the turned last... the whole roller coaster cart into a spaceship. Especially, essentially, they learned how to make this almost indestructible bubble around them. <laughs> I don't even remember. That's been a while. Dude, that was a great flick. But yeah, I think that that had... Um, 
wasn't it? I wanted to say River Phoenix. Maybe, oh. maybe it was River. Yeah. I don't remember. I'm going to look it up. I just know like one of them was in one of those movies. You're thinking 1985 of film. Gleaming the Cube. Oh, that's that Christian that's Slater, like, bro. Christian Slater, Gleaming the Cube. And, and Tony Hawk had a little a little uh, bit part in that. A lot of them. A, a lot of the footage, the skating footage was like shot afar. Yeah. Because a lot of them were like from Bones. Yeah, it was River Bones, Bro, uh, Bones Brigade. Yeah. The, um, Explorers had Ethan Hawk uh, and River Phoenix in it. Jason Preston, Eric Luke, Amanda Peterson, James Cromwell. I forgot he was in it. Anyway. Yeah, it was River, more, more sequels. River Phoenix. A little more sequels. Uh, ex, ex, um, what was one? So this is right down the alley of oh, the conversation so. that I have occasionally on determining the greatest actor of all time. It's hard to do, man. Based on <laughs> sequels. <laughs> That means the public wants to see them. I think you brought this up, yeah. I think we've discussed Steve Gutenberg, greatest actor of all time. Police Academy. All the police academies. Three Men and a Baby. Three Men and a Baby. Three, okay. There's three of those. There's okay. uh, Cocoon, Cocoon 2. What else? So you, they got to demonstrate versatility, is that what you're saying? Or that the public wants to. They made a movie so great that they had to make a sequel. Or, you know, they made a... And how many, oh, how many times has that happened? And it's how many Steve Gutenberg. Different... There's no arguing with this. Yeah. I mean, you got someone like Samuel L. Jackson. Short Circuit. Short Circuit too. Like Samuel L. Jackson in tons of movies, but I don't think there's sequels. Maybe Star Wars might, might be one. Was he in the second one? Though? I stopped watching after a certain point. I think... First five minutes of the first one after the cart race in episode one, you stopped watching. It's pretty much where I Maybe. stopped watching. The acting was so horrible, man. What? My sister actually said Die Hard, and I don't know if I agree with that because I thought the first Dude. Die Hard was oh, the great. First one, classic. Yeah, second one was good, but uh, yeah, I think first. My other sister said Lethal Weapon. Two. Maybe. Because the the characters, I thought just all of them were good. I I don't know. Because uh, they the f- don't they don't hold up now if you watch them now. Yeah. Terrible. What do you mean you can't, you can't outrun a car and shoot your gun and accurately hit things <laughs> all at the same time? I'm too old for so you this shit. Uh, outrun a car on foot. You got a Beretta. 92. You got a Beretta and a mullet, and you can do anything. So. So the second one. <laughs> was the second one was the they had the diplomat. I think so. Which one had Joe Pesci? Was that the first? I, th- I think the both of them. The second oh, and it? third? The, but the first. Uh, I don't remember. But I know like like in the sequel, their characters were, were you could tell like they're more buddy-buddy. It was a lot more funnier. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's <laughs> that's how they fuck you in the drive. Right? Yeah, that's the line everybody knows, right? <laughs> then they're going to be blocked <laughs> away by the time you find out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good impression, man. <laughs> Considering you don't have a soundboard that changes your voice like I do. Voice wise. <laughs> you do a good. That's his normal voice. You do. Way. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, Al sounds like Joe Pesci. He really has to try to force the air through his uh, voice box to get this sound that you all know. Now, we had an uh, instructor in, in college, and uh, he sounded like Joe Pesci. He's <laughs> always to make fun of him. You know, outside of school, like we were hanging, you know, we were freaking drinking in the apartments, or whatever. <laughs> I would do the impression of the <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, they fuck you in the drive thru is um definitely the line that everybody remembers from that movie. And um Danny Glover is like, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> So there was a series that came out, spun off of that. I actually thought was fairly decent. Uh, it's somewhat recent. Lethal Weapon. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? I think it went through three seasons. A series. Mm-hmm. It's like on Netflix or Who's something. In it? Family Matters. Uh, <laughs> Eric Cole. Shit! Who the hell was it that played? <sighs> God dang it! Let's see. Stefan. Is it one of the Wayne's <laughs> brothers? I don't know. Did I do that? You saw <laughs> fucking Urkel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. 
So I know. What if uh Okay, yeah, what about Damon Wayne's. Damon Wayne's oh, played Bertha. Okay. And what? Clay Crawford played Riggs. Wow. And then oh, uh I sh- I that. Sean oh. William Scott played Wesley Cole. I know another sequel. The Road Warrior. That's Mad Max Two. The Road Warrior. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean I love them both. I love Mad Max. Uh, Beyond Thunderdome, and, uh, but uh, Fury Road or whatever, the la- the latest one. Mm-hmm. That one's awesome, too. You don't like it? The newest one? Yeah, it was, I just, uh, now I watch, um, maybe it's because everything that goes on in the world, I watch stuff and I just see political agenda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, that's Single one thing is like even the movie. shitty movies from when we were kids had a lot less of that. Oh, so going right. back and watching them makes it worthwhile for that. But I'm, I agree with you. You see a lot of agenda being. Like I'm, I'm super afraid to see the new Avatar because the first one had a lot of uh, climate agenda, mm-hmm. and it and it was like we're just kind of talking about that. We kind of hit on that when we uh, brought up Maverick, um, where it, it smashed all like box office openings this past weekend, right? And, like fucking crushed it. Let's see what kind of agenda there is. But, Scientology. Agenda. Um, we, could yeah, be. I mean, I haven't t- seen it, so I, I, I don't. This. But but. Uh, the talk about uh, Top Gun Two coming out was years ago. They're gonna make that movie. Right, twenty eighteen, I think. It, it but it never happened because uh, China was supposed to back, you know, financially back that movie up. And but China, uh, they just had too much control of what goes into the movie. You know, it, it, it can't be anti-China. Nothing can be anti-China. You don't make fun of China. All this, and then so the producers just kind of bailed on it, and they kind of. Started starting to see a trend with all these movies, you know, go uh, get woke, go broke, right? That's all these movies that just tanked, you know, they're, they're just trying to be political. Because they're just they're trying it, to be woke. It's fine if they're going to put a little spin in there, but they lay it on so thick now. But so they, whatever, they got their financing, but not from China. So I'm just wondering, you know, that why this movie is so uh, successful is maybe they're not trying to be woke. I don't know. I haven't seen it, though, but. Could be. Like, one of the things that, that we talked about with Tom Cruise had a, the well, Taiwan flag. I, sounds like we need a, yeah, I, that was on the first oh, one. Oh, yep, yep. And so when they showed oh. it in China, like, they cut any scenes where the back of his jacket was shown well, or his something. jacket changed or whatever. In this or, 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 yeah. Or something happened. Hey, we should do a field trip. Okay. To Taiwan? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Airline airfares are cheap, just like gas. I love kung pao chicken. Let's go. <laughs> Getting hungry already. Let's go. Is that like Hawaiian pizza? <laughs> <laughs> it's Mandarin, all of it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I can't think of any others. Off the top of my head, what TV? Okay, what well, what TV shows had spin the like spinoffs? Sp- spun off from movies? No, no. Like you had a TV uh, show, Laverne and Shirley. Yeah, from Happy Days. Happy Mark Days. and Mindy came from Happy Days too. Oh yeah. Oh. They had yeah, several. If, if you if you Google like spinoffs from Happy Days, there's something like twelve of them or something. And a lot of them weren't successful. Better Call Saul. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Spinoff. Yeah, uh, all in a family had a bunch. Maude, Jeffersons. Yeah. Um. What else had spinoffs? <laughs> I don't know. It's like all in the seventies. Well, we're talking about and anything recently. You see, they're coming out with that ninety show. Well, There's they're not, coming out with like they're supposed to be coming out with a new version really? of the seventies show, but it's going to be that ninety show. It's it makes whole- me sad because I feel like. That wasn't that long ago. It, the 90s. It really wasn't. It's just that time oh, goes by and quickly. Then, and the fashion is back. When I was at the Deftones concert, I was just fucking young kids dressing like like the 90s. Cross colors? Yeah. Baggy jeans and all yeah. that? Yeah. They look, you know, goth. The whole goth look and the platform fucking shoes and all that. Uh, plaid skirts. That were you wearing? <laughs> yeah. And my plaid skirts. Even uh, my daughter says uh, the Monster High dolls are making a comeback, too. I don't know if you guys you had a daughter. I don't know maybe. what that is, Al. If you had a daughter, maybe would you know? 
Ask your son about it. I mean, it. I've the what? <laughs> the I what? Know, the I know Monster High. I know oh. people's daughters. I don't know. <laughs> they made a whole a whole world out of Yellowstone too. Because okay. they got Yellowstone, and then they've got like eighteen eighty three. Is that what? Oh, it was? yeah. I mean, that's all just and there's the all backstory, and then there's another there's another series coming out for the backstory too. Yeah. Uh, Mad with called. Children. They had a spinoff with uh, the freaking. Uh, that was my father figure. Oh, shit. What's her name? Uh, Christina, Christina Applegate. Or, or that. Here's, a, here's a Joey on Friends. What's his name? Oh. Matt, Matt LeBlanc, whatever. LeBlanc, yeah. They made a. They actually made. They the, did a spinoff. Uh, Married with Children did a spinoff. With that character, and it lasted like one season or something. Oh, I don't so it must that. not been good. I think I might have the character or the actor wrong, but I think it was him. Or there were multiple spinoffs from Duck Dynasty. Multiple Duck Dynasty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or how many CSIs and Law and Orders? Are there? <laughs> yeah, there you go. I think there's one for every city, right? <laughs> they have one in Hawaii. Mm. See, it's like, well, I, they, I only well, watched Vegas. the original one. I never did get into the other ones, the Las Vegas. The Beverly Hills whiny bitches. There's a ton of spinoffs from that. Oh, yeah, the wives. Gosh, like fingernail. Tanya would watch that shit. It's like fingernails on a chalkboard. I'm like, just shut this shit oh, off. Yeah. Nope. God, I, that's all I need to hear is a bunch of women crying with first world problems to one another. And she was mean to me and just acting like high school twats. And <laughs> My ex used to watch that Bad Girls Club. It's just constant fighting, ghetto girls fighting constantly. Yeah, that's how the the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Orange County. What's some other ones? I mean, they had they had like three or four of these yeah. things. The Jersey Wives. Jersey Wives. Yeah, it was Flavor of Love. <laughs> <laughs> it was just horrible. The good times have a spinoff. Oh boy, I don't know. Bad, bad times, good times with JJ Dynamite. <laughs> I, I remember watching the show, I but I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember spinoffs from that area. I'm the oldest guy here, so era. that might be like before you guys. Way started. older. Yeah, you're dating yourself a little bit, buddy. <laughs> remember the honeymooners when they first premiered? <laughs> <laughs> remember that Norton? <laughs> <laughs> so that was the first. That was probably like the first um, type of. Uh, King of Queens, everyone hates Raymond kind of sitcom where the man's the idiot and or, or two time even or home improvement where, where the, the man's the idiot and the, the, the I, but I mean I went back to even like I love Lucy well so that's different right um, I love Lucy they both were retards right Ricky and <laughs> remember they switched roles this is your job's easy and so one stayed home did the house well, Ricky stayed home and Lucy went to the off whatever right? so like they're both idiots like Married with children. Both of the, yeah. the parents are idiots, right? But when you have honeymooners, the men were the idiots, and the wives held the fucking, they were the glue that hold hold the relationship together. That family yeah. Together. Like the Flintstones. Uh, they, they were copying, uh, uh, they were based off of That them. was the start of it. The removal of men from the household. And then, uh, yeah, you They're have, useless. Get them, get them well, out of your house. Then welfare kicked in, and you don't need a man. At that. Yeah. Everyone then loves the, Raymond. And the 1994 oh, crime bill that just put a bunch in prison. Nah, I need a beer. King of Queens came out. You want a beer? Or you want one of these? I'll take one of those. Sure. Yes, dear. <laughs> Finish your last one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so you guys drinking there? Some margaritas? Yeah, you want one? Nah. Come on. All uh, your friends are doing it. <laughs> don't make your I don't have friends. <laughs> What do you call Mike and I? Podcasts. Co-workers. <laughs> I fucking hate my co-workers. <laughs> so are we still rolling with this uh, or are we going to change topic or just keep going? Change topic, man. Yeah, what do you, you got, What Al? do you got, Al? Don't, um, don't even ask me. I went on for probably too long. Troy will probably say, yeah, that was way too long. Okay, I got a cool one. Um, Who's Troy? What kind of... <laughs> What are those shot glasses there? Is there a brand? Yeah, Tin Cup. Okay, I thought so. I thought that looked like Tin Cup because, yeah. did you guys know? That's a good movie, by the way. These are uh, <laughs> Kevin. Uh, it's good whiskey, name? too. 
How would you guys like to win ten thousand dollars? Well, once the government's done with it, it's really only like uh, forty forty four thousand dollars. Yeah, this is twenty three dollars is what you get left. Uh, yeah. So, so Tin Cup is having the scavenger hunt with these gold plated cups that they hit around the country. There's three of them. What are we waiting for? Okay, and and uh, so. Okay, so the first one was Interesting. was found in. It looks like that, but it's gold. We're gonna gold plate these. So all three of them. The first, we, found, we found all three. <laughs> there you go. Turn it in. <laughs> the first one was found in California. I'm not sure where exactly where it was in California. The second one was in Texas. Now the third one, they gave a clue. It'll be New York. Uh, a clue last week, uh, or two weeks ago, they gave a clue. You, you got to be on your have them on your IG account. Um, they'll they'll slowly release all these clues. The first clue just had the sign, "Welcome to Colorful Colorado." So that's your clue. It's in Colorado. They re- released the second clue. It's a video with just I don't. What think if you were leaving Colorado, driving backwards? Maybe. <laughs> I, it's, it's so it's in Utah. <laughs> so you say. Or Nebraska. Or Nebraska, yeah, <laughs> Wyoming. Um, yeah, just the, thinking outside the box here. The third or the second clue. It was just a bunch of uh, videos, like, taking outdoors, like, people walking on these trails, uh, aspen trees, uh, l- mountain lakes, um, waterfalls, mountain peak. I think, um, you guys should check out the video. I think the video, the images really don't see where the the cup is. It, it, it it's could probably be, a touristy it, area. It could you know be what? A, we were just talking about Mork and Mindy. Where were they living at? Because in the show... <laughs> They drive Boulder. past the Welcome to Colorful Colorado sign, don't they? Or do they not? I, don't, I, I know they're standing on a... Maybe I'm misremembering. W- was it CU, the field, the goalposts on the field? Yeah, they were CU? in Boulder. Yeah. I think it's uh, at Estes Park near the Stanley Hotel. Could be. Well, so so there's things. So the, the latest... Because you welcome to Colo- Colorful Colorado in uh, that's, that's the Shining, like too, in, right? In all the borders. But, but that was the first clue. It's basically seen it's in Colorado. It's not saying it's by the sign. It's just saying the third cup is in, is in Colorado. Um, so the second clue is a bunch of images outdoors. And it just says it's within 30 feet of a 14er and two to three miles from a, a major city. That's all it says. And there's some, there's some rules too. Um, it's not going to be buried. It's going to be off the beaten path. It's not going to be anywhere dangerous, so not like a side of a cliff. Oh, I thought it'd be like on top of the bottle, like when you buy these. They're just going to go throw a cup somewhere? So, uh, this uh, skier, I, I don't know what her name, but this professional skier or Olympic skier is the one that hit it. There's a uh, She vlogged it. She's at the hotel. Your tin cup, you know, gave me this uh, glass to hide, so I'm going to go hide it. And she's leaving a hotel room. Oh. Um, so she's the one that hit it. Hmm. Should bribe her. <laughs> Makes me want to put tin cup on my IG, with, which with somehow sex. I think is the whole point of this. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're going to bribe her with your oh, sex. I don't think you need to bribe her with that. She'll be all over you, man. Be like, if you tell me where it's at, I won't have sex with you. <laughs> Here's her whole dollar. So yeah, you uh, just follow them on on Tin their uh, cup. yeah. I'm looking it up right idea now. account, and then you can see the last two uh, clues. Great, you know how many tin cups there are? Here's one. Tin, uh, cup, tin cup scout. I wonder what she's whiskey. up to. Tin cup whiskey should get you there. Is so. it, there's no official blue check mark by this? <laughs> I don't know then. Tin Cup Whiskey up, UK. Al. This is Tin Cup Whiskey UK. Oh my god. Maybe you've been blocked. And that's All right. You can't tin Cup Whiskey. Uh, oh no, there is a blue check mark. I take it back. It is and, certified. Uh, they're a Denver based company, right? Yeah, they're Colorado Whiskey. Tin Cup Whiskey. Yeah, so if you go on the page, you can see. Uh-huh. Well, anyone could have figured it would have been Colorado because where do Californians and Texans go? Colorado. Well, it looked like they released. Did they release another clue? <gasps> Let's go. <clears throat> okay, so here's the first clue, right? Oh, my. I didn't know it was a video. That was just a picture. 
Welcome to Color Colorful Colorado. So it's telling you it's in this state. Okay. And here's the second clue. It's just a bunch of video just put together. Fourteeners. But I, I don't think maybe one of these scenes is where it's hidden by. Maybe, but um, when you do more or your it, it kind of tells you clue clue number two cup three within 30 miles of a 14,000 foot peak and within two to three hours driving of all major cities I guess all major cities in color what would what, you consider a major city is everything on the well region? obviously like yeah Denver Colorado Springs Pueblo I so may as well what would you say like Buena Vista? Kit Carson. Two to three hour drive of all major cities. <laughs> no, that's a... So, so it's I just mean, really, the, the front Colorado range. Springs and Denver are the main ones. The whole front so, range. I'm getting like Boulder, Fort Collins. Oh, yeah, true. So the whole front range. So two, two to three hours from the front range. So it's outside of Denver. And it's somewhere up in the mountains. <clears throat> it's 10 grand waiting for you. Like I said, um, Estes Park, man. Could be. Next big clue drops Wednesday. Just because it's a touristy area. Right? Oh, and they want you to go out. No, it has to be uh, like in a hiking trail, off of a hiking trail. Because they want you to go out and enjoy the outdoors. It's kind of like what this whole uh, contest is about. Drink whiskey and enjoy the outdoors. It's like, well, I'm pretty winded when I drink whiskey. <laughs> Especially when I'm trying to hike a 14er. So there you How go, do folks. I get there? I don't understand this whole IG thing. There. Just pull up the page and scroll down to the I pictures. I know. I'm trying it. Like, I click view profile, and this is all I get. Yeah. Oh, and you look at all these stupid pictures? Oh, there it is. Should be the ones on top. Oh, see. I found it. You're already blocked. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Who's this broad? Is that the one that hit it? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I think she's the one. She's a skier. What right? gives her the right? I mean, I don't know any uh, professional skiers or Olympic skiers or whatever. But all you have to do is hack her phone and see where she's been. <laughs> yeah. All you got to do is. So while you're in there getting the nudes off of it, <laughs> pull up her location. GPS tracker. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. When you know next? what you should do. When's the next one coming out? Wednesday? Tomorrow, Message yeah. her on Instagram and say, hey, tell me where it's at. So let's suppose. What if she told you where it was at? Let's I, suppose you have a legit guess. Who the hell do you get hold of? I have your cat. You go find it. I think. Nobody got like, time for I, that. Well, I think they'll verify when, when, you, when you see where you found it at. And they say, yep, that's where it was. This is the last one? Maybe it's just a freaking claim ticket. It's not the actual cup, is there? So you got to. <laughs> You Maybe it's a it. golden ticket inside a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> could, could be. be. <laughs> no wonder nobody can find it. <laughs> Interesting contest. Way to get me to obviously follow on Instagram. So. I bet Johnny Depp knows. <clears throat> Dude, that shit. I watch it and it's too funny. Because it makes you keep wanting to tune in to see what the hell's going on. And you got to go. There's something else going on behind the scenes. This is a, a distraction of some sort. It's trying to just keep people distracted. Some something else is happening right now. Yeah, they don't want um, you to find that golden cup. That's it. That's it right there. But yeah, you just you just wonder why is why is the Johnny Depp trial so important? But don't get me wrong, it actually made me like the guy a little bit more. I I really didn't. I don't know, care was, or not care for him. He was all, he was all. Right. It was, fun it was entertaining to watch it play out. Because you could almost see his interaction with his lawyers, that uh, whatever her name is, almost like they were intentionally trying to make her jealous. Yeah. For her to be off her game. That that and just a lot of the stuff that Johnny Depp had said. Oh, the commentary? The yeah. yeah. I haven't watched You'd it. You'd be correct. <laughs> Again, you guys told me it was funny. Again. You'd the best be comedy show ever. It is, it is. There's a lot of funny He came funny off things. really charming, so from the jury standpoint... Or the cocaine box? Would you <laughs> <laughs> it's just where you it kept looks cocaine. Like you could, looks, look, like, looks like cocaine would fit in that box, yes. 
and he said something about if, if usually it comes in plastic baggies. If you carry it around that, you'd have a trail of coke. <laughs> or when the lawyer said so. So then it was at that moment you poured yourself a mega a mega pint of wine, um, a mega pint. <laughs> or he said something. About like I poured drunk. myself a, a large glass of wine. Yes. About <laughs> being drunk, and he said something. He goes, "Were you there?" <laughs> yeah, were you there? <laughs> Then he said essentially something that was equivalent to like, well, it's got to be five o'clock somewhere, right? So, um, yeah, there's just a lot of funny things he said. But again, you're watching and you go, but this can't be the only trial this kind of stuff happens in, even with celebrities. Like, what What else is going on in the world? What are we being distracted from? The start from? Of that trial to the end, gas went up $3. Yeah, it's, it's insane. I'm going to need a loan to get home. <laughs> <laughs> it's downhill, right? You just put in neutral? Yeah. From here, it's downhill. I mean, the uh, monetary scale. It's from all downhill from here. Mine is definitely downhill. There it is. It's all downhill from here podcast. Welcome, folks. Downhill. <laughs> so what do you bring to the table? Besides your beautiful looks. Well, Troy ain't going to be here. What was Troy's topic? <laughs> I, I think That's what I was going to bring. Oh, so you want to start there? Hail. Um, <sighs> hold on. Stand by. Stand by. He's standing by. Fuck you, Mike. You're the reason everyone. Oh no, that's that's <laughs> your comment, Justin. Um, yeah, you keep making people quit. <laughs> Hail! Is it just God's way of showing Bruh. us why strippers don't accept change? <laughs> Go ahead, Justin. You start with that. You can talk Go about ahead, the Justin. Uh, you start with that. You can talk about the. Hey, new. down by where I live, they accept change. So. <laughs> You can talk really? about that new uh, Barbie doll. Oh. Nah, I better not talk about that one. No. <laughs> probably leave that one right there on Babylon B. It's hilarious. If you get an opportunity to get, make your way over to Babylon B and watch the ad for the pregnant Ken, it's both really? gross and hilarious at the same time. Watch it. I didn't get a chance to. I was doing stuff all afternoon. You should have. You just should pull your phone out. And say, excuse me. I had, excuse me. I got in a text I mean, right now. <laughs> hold on. Hey, uh, yeah. Hold on a second. I, <laughs> I heard you, but I'm trying to focus on this text. <laughs> Start showing it. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's pretty crude, but there's yeah. Just goes to show how crazy things are getting. You have like six Zevias in my fridge now, man. You just oh, you buy I'm, I'm buy moving, one and drink one. He's slowly moving, moving in. in, like yeah. yeah. You can see, <laughs> like Tanya did. My mom's not going to appreciate that. I'll leave uh, leave like my shirt over here tonight. His no, is up there. one sock <laughs> toothbrush. Yeah, <laughs> toothbrush already. <laughs> over. All my bathroom products. There you go. <laughs> well, shit. What else we got? I got some for next week. Oh, okay, cool. Is it a game <laughs> Can show? Can we get a preview? Can we get, is it uh, question and answers get, game I, show? I guess we can prepare for next week. So I, I guess I'll read another one. This one's pretty uh, interesting. Should um, we wear the same shirts again next week? I'm gonna. If, if it just so happens, you pull that same shirt out when you got ready to come here. What you know, if it, I it have happens. 15 of the same shirt? <laughs> it, That's it. I, it I never change my shirt. I wear the same With one. With the same wear. stain on it. So you're talking about like trading cards coming back, right? And all this trading, uh, trading cards. Yeah. Oh, is this about the porn trading cards? Because I love them. <laughs> Peter North, I got another one of these. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so Ron Jeremy, LeBron James trading card to hit auction block could fetch nearly seven million dollars. Wow. So it's a very rare. Uh, what brand is this? Anyway, okay, so it, it's a triple uh, image LeBron James showing 
each team that he played for. So the the Heat, the Cavaliers, and the Kings. And I guess this is one of a kind. What brand is this? The Triple Logo Man card is what it's it's known as. So I, I guess this is the, the only one in the world. I'm not going to go look for it, but um, I guess if it pays out enough, it's worth looking for. Yeah. Triple Logo it's not because of who he card. is, that's for sure. Yeah, it could hit. It's going to go on auction June 8th, so a week from now. Because today's not June 7th. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's going on auction? June 8th, tomorrow. Oh, okay. So this isn't something. Well, I don't know. Go. This is not June 7th, so a week you, from This now. isn't something we've got to go find. <laughs> it's, it's somewhere in a pack somewhere or something of basketball cards. It, no, so uh, it was opened. It was actually uh, this pack was opened online in a live streaming, and this card was in there. So, oh, like what our friends do with their opening yeah, baseball not, cards. I, I think it was the actual company. It wasn't an individual that <clears throat> that bought the pack. Um, I, this is a twenty 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 one pack. Is it Nick Sanders? <laughs> it could be. So yeah, I think it was the actual company that. Opened. So okay, so and, and good. I don't have to go spend a bunch of money looking for a card of Ooh. some loser that's just going to pay me out a lot of money. <laughs> Look, man, he had to go kill Kobe to prove he was better than him. I mean, now he's better at basketball than Kobe. Yeah, he's all right for the second best player of all time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or arguably maybe third. I mean, because you got I mean, Jordan you up there too. Gonna throw Kareem in the mix, maybe. Yeah, fourth. I mean, Jordan, I mean, he was. Jordan and Kobe were awesome. They, but they just, had a good it, team and their coach. I mean, yeah. Their coach was awesome. But when you go freaking win a championship and you don't party for five minutes and you go home and you're just shooting freaking free throws in your personal basketball court to prepare for the next year's championship, I mean. Never, they, they dude, were, Kobe, uh, he didn't let up. Kobe, Kobe, and 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 uh, yeah, Jordan, the, those guys just didn't they let up. They hated losing. They yeah, hated. you forget about the late night gambling trips for Jordan and the cigars. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, who doesn't gamble and, and smoke then, a cigar every now and again? Golf games, right up until game time, just barely making it. Yeah. But that, uh, yeah, but they also practice basketball oh, more yeah, than anybody else too. Larry Bird was another one. So he hated losing yeah and he was you know he was he had, <laughs> ah fucking tongue tied he has the size of a basketball player like six seven six eight or something maybe taller i don't know but he had the size but you look at him slow as fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah. slow and you know he could dunk but like his vertical wasn't that great you know but he just practice 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 assassin that dude was they say the greatest shit talker of all time oh yeah so they all did Jordan shit talk. I don't, I don't know if the, the, uh, Kobe tell they, you what he's they, gonna do and then do it. They had yeah. yeah they had a they had a way of delivering that shit talk that was yeah. very um yeah it was so I read this book called Relentless by Tim Grover and he talked about coaching them and it's just it's a it's a freaking great book. Um, Can you read it to us? <laughs> it's pretty long, but I probably could, especially since I don't read. Can you? I just look at hour? pictures. Huh? Can you no. Pack it into an yeah, hour? Reader's Digest version? Yeah, no. Oh, great. My son's, son's sending me shit on Instagram now. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Beer is making me burp. I got to go in the office tomorrow. I'm sorry. Are you going to be okay? Son of a. It's the first time in office in like eight months. Are you going to shave your balls? Uh, they're already <laughs> shaved, buddy. Smooth like eggs. I, let That's me how see. I keep them. Let me see. Okay. All right. I'll show you the balls. I just won't show you the penis. Let me get them out of here. <laughs> well, you can't even see the penis. That's it. That's why I never showed that part. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, the balls are already shaved. That's how I keep them. You have to peel them off your leg? I, yeah. I, I, how do you guys like the outro music, the new one? I don't know if I like it. <laughs> Did it get stolen yet? Dun -dun, dun -dun. I, I uh, messaged the guy, the original creator of that. I messaged him about this other dude claiming his song. Mm. So. 
Do you hear anything back? No. Mm. I mean, if it's no longer copywritten, that's like an 80-some year. He's probably dead. Isn't it eighty some years or I don't remember what it's like. It, there's it's a, a time ridiculously limit. long time. There's a well, not really. I think it's twenty years. I thought it was because well, my, my Michael Jack. So the Beatles, uh, music was coming up for sale, and the the Beatles wanted to own it, but um, Lennon, John Lennon was dead at this point, and they talked to Yoko Ono, and she she didn't want to buy it. So Michael Jackson ended up buying. The Beatles music, all the music, the rights to it. But what? What's the twenty-year thing you're talking about? The copyright for music. Oh, so I can finally use that kick-out space line yeah. from a seventy years. Then why does oh. Michael Jackson own the Beatles catalog? Because they sold it years ago. Because <laughs> they sold the copyright to. Them. But they're, they're from the '60s, and they bought it in the '80s. Look, if it's 20 years, I can finally go after that uh, kick-ass bass line from Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> right? Yeah. He's got to hit up David Bowie. <laughs> David Bowie Queen. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't have the answers. 70 years? How does that work? There's there had to be something else. I remember else. studying that because the Happy Birthday song is like the... Example they always use for songs that are no longer. Yeah, like restaurants can't use it, you know. Yeah, you can't even use it as like to sing. Well, not happy birthday, obviously, but mm -hmm. to people. That's why they they all have like a different. That's why you just put a different name in it every time uh, you sing it. You must have learned that at DeVry. I think that was in one of my courses. At <laughs> right? <laughs> isn't that isn't that why you use a different name in it every time? Then you're not violating copyright. I guess. As long as it goes dun 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 dun, dun not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly that was like some isn't it like eight bars or four bars or something of the music the in uh vanilla ice put in an extra dun no he didn't <laughs> he always said he did <laughs> see there's goes dun 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 mine goes dun 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 <laughs> <laughs> It's totally different. Come on. <laughs> a fucking idiot, man. Just, just say. Hey, he, he made money. I mean, I'm sure he lost plenty of money, too, but. Just say. Like, yeah, it had yeah, to flow that, that, that people yeah. made him popular. And that was actually the B-side. The, the single was uh, Play That Funky Music, oh, White Boy, whatever. whatever that, that He ripped that shit off, too. But that was the A-side. And then it was like one DJ said that. This other side, the B side, sounds better. So started playing the Ice Ice Baby. All right, and that's how it took off. A BL lot of VIP. stars. The more you know. <laughs> Let's kick it. Every, right, every, our intro every every night. <laughs> every uh, is that copyrighted? Every uh, probably not. I don't know. We could probably get away with that. Every every Mother's Day, not every Mother's Day, but. Almost every Mother's Day on, Word on, to your mother. on Facebook, I'll put that. there's a picture of Vanilla Ice. It's got lip. Word, word to your mother. Stop breaking my shit, man. It looks just like you. It's all lip. The other one's broke. Troy broke it. That's why he's not here today. Yeah, because Al had to break <laughs> his arm after he broke that. <laughs> all he had to do was stop by your mom's bedroom upstairs on his way down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I could break Troy's arm. He's a big dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're a strong dude. Uh, you're he's, strong, he's, yeah. I'm an old man. I'm a has I got that power. Hey, did you know that that girl that has been picks. on this podcast knows jujitsu? <laughs> really? Yeah. I bet. She, she's Asian. She'll kick they your ass. Know. She'll they fucking kill judo. you. They all know judo. She'll fucking kill you, man. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Next time she's here. I couldn't tell her, okay, you guys fucking rolling. You guys roll. In the backyard. Does she do this? Order you can. <laughs> <laughs> Starts firing shit out of her she hands. Just fireballs at us. Fucking spinning tornado kick. Ice balls <laughs> and shit. <laughs> Whatever you said. God, hell, you're racist. <laughs> it's my race. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the Nihon Jins, man. I thought, I thought you were Hawaiian. Nah, I'm not. I'm from Hawaii. Wait a minute. I'm a local. So in Hawaii, uh, if you're Hawaiian, you're Hawaiian. 
like, and there's no. Even if you're white? <laughs> so, Doug, the bounty hunter? You're just a Howley, but you're still Hawaiian. He's, he's a Howley. <laughs> yeah. He's not a local. He's not. He did his little. Come on, bra. No, it's so, the only reason there's tourism down there. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do with the beaches. <laughs> no, can't. Fuck those beaches. Yeah, so you're either, you have some Hawaiian in you. Or, or you want or some or Hawaiian just, in you. Or <laughs> or you're you're just a local. And if you claim to be Hawaiian when you're not, then you get your ass kicked. Is that why you don't go back? <laughs> yeah, I got voted off. You got voted off the island because you, you won too many times? Yeah. Cause like, I, we can kill you or you get I off this island. I was eating pineapple pizza. Yeah, and you're like, hey, uh, you got to try this Hawaiian <laughs> like pizza. Ninja turtle. You got, you got to try this Hawaiian pizza, bro. Right? Shoot, bro. <laughs> That's how dog would say it. I would only go there because I, I'm not Hawaiian. I would just go there dressed as dog with the feathers <laughs> in my hair, the glasses with in the, the and then talk you know about the arm constantly. the armbands and stuff. That's the, the only that's the only way I would go there. The like an old ass <laughs> Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, like an old Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> yeah. Bra. Bra. Best. <laughs> yeah. It's the only way you gotta change, bro. Other than that, so it, I'm a long time coming. I gotta grow my hair out or get yeah, a weave get, or get that mullet, some shit. Yeah, that, that pompadour up front. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, then feather that shit back. We're past the uh, hour. We are past the hour. What you watching Aww. the time? <laughs> Damn it, bro. I was watching. You gotta change your life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I turned to Jesus, bro. <laughs> Giving him a cigarette in the back of the car. <laughs> you all handcuffed. <laughs> you gotta change your life, bro. <laughs> all right. We, could, we Yeah, this okay. is going downhill fast. All right. So since, since the one minute mark. We out. All right. Peace out, everyone. We'll see you next Peace. time. See you yep. next week. Same time, same shirts. Yeah, this is good, good porn music. <laughs> all right. See you guys. Dun, 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 dun.